in this video uh, firstly we are going to see what is the scope of a variable and uh, then we, we will cover some uh, few examples which which will help you get a better clarity of all this con all those concepts that we have learned in the particular playlist of uh, introduction to kotlin okay so what is scope of a variable a scope of a variable is uh, its visibility or a visibility of a particular variable within a piece of code so uh, let us understand with it with uh, this with an example okay so suppose uh, this is a block one block of code one okay <coughs> so and then there is a for loop and then in between in, in inside the for loop there is a block of uh, code two so uh, as the variable a is defined in the main function outside the for loop so the uh, variable a is visible to code 1 as well as the code 2 okay so the code 1 is this thing and the code 2 is particularly this thing okay or i can say the code 1 includes this also so the, basically the code 2 is the for loop and uh, because the variable b is uh, initialized in the for loop inside the loop body and uh, so it is visible to uh, visible only to the code b and not the code 1 and hence it should be used by this loop body only okay so the variable b cannot be used outside so i cannot use uh, b is equals to 20 here okay when i uh, do so it shows an error here because the b variable is not visible to outside the loop okay similarly uh, when i define a function okay a, a function outside the main function and i uh, use some variables in the uh, uh, the other function so the, the variables th which i have used in the other function are not visible to the main function and the body and the uh, and the uh, body of the main function okay so this is about the uh, scope of a variable okay so uh, now moving forward uh, we will uh, write a kotlin program to find a, a factorial of a particular number of a give, uh, of a particular number okay so kotlin program to find factorial of a number so in this program you will learn to find the factorial of a number using for loop or you can use while loop also and uh, okay so what is a factorial so a factorial of a number n can be given by uh, n factorial and it, it is equals to 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 and so on till n okay so uh, now we have to think that how should we proceed in this particular question so uh, for thinking this uh, i firstly i should think that uh, one loop is required okay we cannot manually multiply the number with 2 and 3 and 4 okay also uh, the the particular factor should be multiplied with the i with the in, uh, incremental okay so uh, in this program we should we should use uh, loop to loop through all the numbers between 1 to the given number okay whichever number has been given and uh, the product of each number till the number is uh, stored within a variable it must be stored within a variable okay so as we did in the uh, as we did for finding finding the sum so uh, initially I, i'll declare the main function okay inside the main function uh, there is a value num and that is defined as so i have to find the uh, factorial for the particular number 10 now i should define a particular uh, variable uh, let's say factorial okay variable let's say factorial in which the factorial is going to be stored okay now this factorial 
uh, okay instead of 10 I, I'll do it 5 okay so this factorial uh, should be equals to 1 on in the starting because this is multiplication if this is if this was a sum as we did in the sum of n natural numbers we would have initialized it with 0 because uh, it we would be adding something to it now we, we would be multiplying something to it so we have initialized initialized it as 1 because anything multiplied to 1 is the particular thing okay similarly anything added to the the 0 is the particular number okay now after declaring a factorial variable uh, we should declare we should use the for loop okay so for now from where we have to iterate so i have to iterate from um, 1 to the number particular okay so from i to the number uh, the factorial okay the factorial is equals to the factorial into number okay so uh, from starting we can see that uh, what is 2 factorial or what is 1 factorial I will say 1 factorial 1 factorial is 1 ok now what is 2 factorial 2 factorial is 2 into 1 factorial and what is 3 factorial 3 factorial is 3 into 2 into 1 and 2 into 1 is uh, any basically 2 factorial now what is 4 factorial 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 now what is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 4, 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so what is 3 into 2 into 1 3 into 2 into 1 is 3 factorial okay so I can see that I can say that the factorial is equals to the previous factorial into the current number or instead of number I should have said here I okay that was my fault so Mm, what I can do here is I can just write factorial uh, into equals to i ok clear and at the end I should write the print function so print ln uh, factorial uh, of the number is equals to um, factorial so the factorial variable now what I should do is I should run this program okay so what is 5 factorial 5 factorial is basically 120 4 factorial is 24 okay so uh, this program gives that factorial of 5 is 120 so we have successfully uh, made a program which prints the factorial of a particular number okay so that that is all for this video stay tuned